Hey, not collective. We're going to do a clarity reading here. This is coming into that the first week of October here. Lots of stuff going on. Mercury is finally coming out of retrograde, right? Don't be too excited because there's a lot of other aspects that are coming in here. Okay, first one out today, we have the warriors. Warriors, okay? Feminine, goddess, right? You have the ability to conquer your fears and faults and the right to defend who you are, who you love, and who you believe in, okay? So, um, you know, stand in your truth, people. The resolute, if you do not resolve to be patient and endure tough times, success may appear to you to always be in the future or in another's power. So what we're going through here is developing character for us, right? <clears throat> okay? Like, that's what it's all about here. We are developing our practices. We are um, tuning, you know, learning how to tune in better. We've got the stargazer, set your sights higher here, okay? And we also have the priest here, the high priest, intend and create. So for a lot of us, I think, again, we've been going through these shifts here, okay? And we're trying to align, we're trying to like re-strategize, we're trying to do all of this stuff, you know, to come into alignment. And meanwhile, we've got all these energies flying around right now. So... What is that about? All right. It's about being resolute. Okay. That's what it's about. It's about, you know, page of wands energy. We're looking out into the future here and we're trying to move past these illusions. Okay. So what do we need to know? What does the collective need to know this first week of October? Thank you, spirit. Okay. You are building on solid ground here. Okay. You are moving forward. All right, and in a balanced way here, okay? Note the yin and the yang. Note that he has the sword up, but it's more of like a show. Like, you know, it, he's not necessarily going into battle. He's like, hey, I got my boundaries and my clarity with me. We've got the king of pentacles here. I really feel like this is our energy collective, all right? We are bossing up. It's about being um, logical, practical, okay? I'm going to put that right there. And he's looking forward here. Okay? This is the divine masculine. This is like the bottom line. But note that he also has like roses on his throne there. Okay? So it's about being kind. Yeah, we are coming into a harvest here. All this hard work that everybody's been putting in is going to pay off here. Okay? Self-regulation. You've tamed the beast here. All right. What else does the collective need to know? Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. You guys need to give yourselves credit for all of this. Okay. Ace of Cups here. Like, this is phenomenal. Fantastic. I mean, do you realize what a wonderful time on earth that we are living in? How amazing it is that we are, um, you know, we are literally co-creating a new a new mindset here on earth okay we've got the ten of wands again all right i asked for clarification on it so i'm going to grab these yeah okay mind body spirit we're building sanctuaries here okay not only for ourselves but for the collective Excuse me, I had to get a drink there. So, you know, this is like an earthly sanctuary here. Okay? Can I get some more clarification, please, on this Ten of Wands? Lots of cards popping out here. I've got a Page of Pentacles. I've got the Two of Wands. I've got Strength again. And I've got Justice. Okay? Okay? As we have been progressing through this, we're building on solid ground. We're trying to move forward. We've got abundance coming in here. Okay. Harvest time. This is harvest time. And it's about kind of you calling justice and saying, okay, 
right? It's time for me to harvest. I've been doing all this work. It's time for me to harvest. And that is kind of a mindset shift in a way, because it has to do with saying, I'm working, I'm, you know, I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing, and I've kind of grown and now I'm going to do this. Okay. There's a shift there. For some of you, I feel like you're going to have a message coming in here for you. This is going to be concerning your finances. Okay. You are definitely building a sanctuary for yourself. Mind, body, spirit. All right. Spirit knows that you've been looking out. Okay. I've got the strength card again. <laughs> and it fell out as I picked up the deck, which is why I put it there. Like, wow. Okay. Look at what we've been doing. This is phenomenal. Okay. I mean, if you think back even two years ago, right? Three years ago, five years ago, where, where we were compared to where we are now, even just a few months ago, right? This is absolutely phenomenal. You need to give you got you need to give yourself a big yay, right? Okay. What do, what can you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I've been asking for clarification on that 10 of wands here. We've got the eight of cups. Okay. And we've got this queen of pentacles here, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Okay. You are divinely balanced here. All right. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Yeah. We have the eight of pentacles as well as the eight of cups. Okay. You're right where you're supposed to be. You are, you know, you've, you've set the past on fire, like purged, and you're moving forward into love, into the light here. Okay. And you are working, but notice all the light, like this is all divinely aligned here. And then you pull out this queen of pentacles. I mean, what a match for some of you, this could be love coming into your life. If that's what you're looking for. If not, um, this could be, um, you know, your divine feminine and divine masculine, you're finally aligned. Okay. And you've done this because you've studied, you've grown, you've learned, and you've learned how to trust spirit. Notice how she's on tiptoe here across this sword. You've trusted in spirit to bring you clarity here. All right. Yeah, we all went through this, right? Okay, so oh, I'm knocking cards over here. I'm going to get a health card for you. Try that again here. I'm going to shuffle these. What does the collective need to know as far as their health moving into this first part of October, please? <clears throat> Alternative medication, medicine. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment modality and for giving me clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well-being. Okay? Right? Oh, I'm going to seize. Oh, excuse me. I just uh, cleansed all the cards and everything with some Palo Santo. And I think I, I think I imbibed a little too much. I'm sneezing now. Plus we're in uh, a season of change where I live. So of course, you know, allergies are kicking in. I've been working on a lot of my herbal teas to get rid of them. It's a lot less than it used to be, but I still, my sinuses still go up and down here. Your affirmation card is sun, moon, earth, infinity. All that is in infinity, I am thee. Okay? It's like we finally get it. It's like like everybody has leveled up so much. All right? Um, I'm just going to ask for if there's anything else for the collective. Is there anything else they need to be aware of, please? Yep. Spirit wants you to know that spirit is calling judgment out on this five of cups situation, which popped out in reverse. So basically, you know, these troubles are ending here. Okay. The universe is calling judgment, just like you call justice. And that's probably why, you know, sometimes the universe will sit and watch us. Our angel, you know, our spirit team are watching us and they're trying to guide us and they're trying to help us. And then immediately when we call justice out 
and we start changing, that's when it opens the door for them to come in, right? We have to open the door to get that help, all right, to get that assistance. Okay, I just feel like for, I feel like I need to pull a couple more cards here, yeah. All right, we've got the Hawk, Omens and Messages, number 11. So make sure that you're staying tuned in. Spirit will be sending you messages, okay? All right, uh, we've got the Swan, Transformation and Trusting in the Psychic Gifts, number 12, that goes also down into a three, okay? Trust your intuition, trust in spirit, set your sights higher, right? Resolute. Resolve to be patient and endure tough times, right? So you appreciate the success. We have to earn things. That way there's value there, okay? Conquer your fears and your faults, all right? And the high priest one was, um, yeah, intend and create. So basically you're on the right path here. Just keep going. I mean, look at the strength. You've got all three strength cards here. This is validation that you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing here. Okay? Justice and judgment. Take good care of yourselves. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful beginning to this October. Um, and just so you know, I'm going to be doing... Um, I'm going to be talking about the, the astrology coming up. It's really amazing. Uh, coming into October. This is a powerful month. October, November, De and December are really powerful uh, months coming into this culmination, this end of this year. All right. Like, share, and subscribe to grow the tribe. Take care out there. Take care of yourself. Be kind.